Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I just finished the Incolo nail applique tutorial, so if you want, you can click on the link to check out the video. And I wanted to go over a few other things that are kind of new spring favorites. Um, the weather is finally changing and it's getting really pretty outside. So now that spring is here, I just wanted to go over some of the things I've been using and loving lately. So I actually bought these yesterday. I used to use these all the time, and I'm not sure why, but I just kind of stopped or switched shampoo and conditioner, but I went to the store yesterday and bought these, and I can't believe I stopped using them. They smell so good. My boyfriend said it kind of smelled like gingerbread cookies, and I looked at the ingredients, and they kind of said that it has almond in it, which might be part of what I'm smelling, but it is... I would recommend just going to the store and smelling it really quick, because it's such a good smell. They're really moisturizing. I feel like this is the first day in a while my hair isn't a complete frizz ball. So I actually used the conditioner twice this morning and let it soak in because my hair has just been really dry lately and it made a big difference. So I got the color protecting one, which my hair isn't colored, this is natural, but usually the color protectings have a lot more moisture and are less stripping, so I think that's just good in general. So I have the shampoo and conditioner, John Frieda, Brilliant Brudette. And the good thing is they are really high quality, but they aren't really expensive. They are usually about $7.00 each and I actually got these both for seven dollars by doubling up on coupons at CVS and another thing is this Bare Minerals Prime Time and this one is a little different it actually comes out clear and it's very soft and it definitely smooths over your pores and kind of gives you a little bit of a glow I really like it I've used it for the past two days and it seems to be working pretty well Departing from beauty, now that it's so pretty outside, you might want to go sit with a good book in the park. I would recommend Notes from the Underground by Dostoevsky. I actually read this yesterday at the coffee shop. It's a little bit dark, but it's really fun and interesting. And what I like is it's a quick read, and it's definitely one of his shorter works. So you can look very smart without having to sludge through 800 pages. Um, another book I am reading is Coco Chanel and Igor Stravinsky. It's kind of like a light fluffy thing. You might want to bring it to the beach, but if you love Coco and you love fashion in Paris, then this might be something you would like to read. A book that I didn't even know came out is Perfect Fifths from the Jessica Darling series. You definitely need to read these all in order. This is obviously the fifth book in the series, but they're awesome and I just identified with that character so much when I was in high school. And and now she's in her 20s, and I guess part of the fun of it is just having a character who you kind of identify with who's sort of in similar life stages as you. I also got there a box of Anna Karenina, and I have not watched it yet. I'm about to. I'll let you know how it went. I love Joy and Karen Knightley, so I feel like it can't go wrong, but I've heard mixed reviews, so I'm going to watch and let you know. I would highly recommend the St. Ives Exploiting Scrub. I've been using this for years, and everyone who has borrowed it from me or I've shown has started using it themselves. This is the purifying one, and it has sea kelp and mineral salt, and what I like is it's unisex, and it's not too frou-frou. Guys will love it too. It kind of has that salty smell, and you do smell the sea salt, and maybe I'm just a salt addict, but it's very refreshing, and you feel like you're at the ocean, and it actually works really well. It's a really great exfoliator and it's not too harsh. I use it on my whole body. So this is another product you can find at drugstore, Target, anywhere and works just as well as some of those $20, $25 scrubs. There's they come in these little tubs and it feels like you use all of it up within a few baths. So what I like about this is it lasts for a really long time. You can just keep it in your shower. And I think I've used it in a few tutorials before but this Victoria's Secret Color Shine Beauty Rush Gloss in Wonder Melon. It's just a really pretty pink color with a little bit of tint, goes on really smooth and has a little bit of sparkle. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or things you want me to cover or if you completely disagree with some of my choices, let me know below.